the time to begin buying huges and other stuff in the market is right now in Pet Simulator 99. You are going to want to do these things that I'm going to talk about in this video before it is too late. As you guys know, timing the market is one of the most important things you can do in any market trading game. This applies to Pet Simulator, this applies to the stock market, this applies to nearly everything that really has a market. So today, I'm going to tell you why I'm signaling it, that it is a good time to begin buying. And in this video, I'm going to explain exactly those details as well as what you should be doing with your diamonds and easy mistakes to avoid. If you have any questions about this, you can join my Discord and ask me directly there or talk to any member from the community. We do daily giveaways on there. I'm currently giving away a huge pet. So if that interests you, you guys should definitely join up. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. But let's get right into it because we have a lot to cover and the time to do this is right now. As you guys can see behind me, we have the huge happy computer event coming to a close very soon. It's looking like it's going to be less than 24 hours before we see the last huge happy computer opened up. And this is a huge deal. My prediction prior to the update was that once this event is over, inflation will go absolutely insane. And we are still on track for that prediction to be true. And this is for a couple reasons. So obviously when new huges stop coming into the market, the supply will end up evening out while demand is only going to keep going up. And on top of that, a lot of people are waiting for this event to be over before they go ahead and start buying as many cheap huges as they can. So we're going to see a ton of demand right when this event is over. And that's when we can expect prices are just going to go through the roof. On top of that, we have also seen the amount of diamonds that you can farm each day increase dramatically. It seems like post update, I'm getting three to four times as much diamonds as I was getting before the update. And I don't think that's really attributed to much of a team change as much as just the drop rates have changed. If anything, I've centered my build more around item drops and I'm still getting three to four times more diamonds just raw. This is the type of event that really causes inflation naturally in an economy as the currency becomes easier and easier to get. The value of that currency will go down and then the prices of regular things is going to start going up. I think overall the worst thing you can do in this next week is just holding on to your gems. I'm predicting a strong inflation period is coming so holding on to as many items as you can is going to be very very valuable. Now really quick it is very important to note that it is possible in the next coming days that we see a period of deflation but I'm telling you guys that is only temporary. With the amount of diamonds that people are farming every single day, we are bound to get some huge inflation because people are going to need a way to spend their diamonds. Basically, all I'm trying to say is it is possible this is not going to be the lowest prices we see until all of the huges are actually opened. But that's all the more important reason why you guys should be buying now. It is a lot bigger of a mistake to buy too late than to start buying too early. Almost everybody I've ever talked to in this past week has said that they are going to start buying once the huge event is over. And by the time that happens, it's going to be too late because people are going to be pricing their huges and other items way above wrap value. So right now, you're going to want to try to pick things up for around wrap value or even below. Right now, we've been seeing the wrap value of the huge happy computers and the happy rock go up by like 100,000 each wrap update. So the real inflation period really has not started yet. It's just so important that you guys get this done before that time comes because it's most definitely going to be too late once you see the trend. As you guys can see, I actually have done some crazy trades the past few days and I'm at 573,000 diamonds. Right after I upload this video, I'm going to be heading out and buying as much stuff as I can really. Personally, I'm probably going to leave about 50 to 100 million diamonds left over just in case I do see some deal or something that I need to buy. But that's only because I have so many diamonds that I can afford to do something like that. If you do have a lower amount of diamonds, it is going to be more important that you do spend as much of it as you can on items so that your value stays consistent with the coming inflation. Personally, it seems like the best thing you can buy right now are just the huge happy computers because I do think it's likely we see a massive jump in that baseline huge. So I wouldn't go ahead and invest in anything too crazy or rare because the valuations of those are pretty much only dependent on the people who currently own them now. 
So whatever price they end up selling at is basically what the value of that rare huge is going to be. So I think it's much safer to invest in just the baseline huges. A list of these would include stuff like the Happy Computer, the Happy Rock, the Hell Rock, the Huge Peacock, Goblin, as well as the Colorful Slime. So all of these huges are basically the cheapest that you're going to find around. So if you are finding it difficult to pick up the happy computers, you should definitely look into those because oftentimes they the inflation falls behind on those. So it's easier to get a good deal compared to something like the happy computer, which actually brings up another really good point. When you do begin to buy things during inflation, it's really important to make sure to check other huge prices. Sometimes the more traded huges like the happy computer or the happy rock often increase in price quicker than stuff like the goblin or the peacock or the colorful slime. So the prices of those huges sometimes end up actually being cheap than those most common huges. And that's when it's going to be a really good deal for you to pick those up. Because no matter what happens, those huges are going to end up being more valuable than stuff like the happy rock or the happy computer because there's just so much volume of those things. Personally, this week I have bought into a lot of the boss chest mimics. I really like this enchant personally, but if you guys are buying things purely for investment, I would honestly try to stay away from this boss chest mimic and the chest mimic because they are so volatile right now. This thing is jumping like 25% in price up and down like every four hours. And it's purely based off of emotion because there's nothing changing about these chest mimics at the moment. So the prices of these changing is basically just 100% a gamble. If you are buying to use, I definitely would go with the boss chest mimic at the moment just because the... I don't think the mastery stuff really adds enough value for the chest mimic to be almost three times the price. In terms of the diamond chest, just not a good enchant, so I'd stay away from investing in this one as well. The lucky block actually might be a good investment. I still don't really understand why it is so cheap. It is the best loot enchant behind the boss chest mimic. Obviously, the chest mimic is still number one. The only reason I'd say to buy the boss chest over it is just because of the price range right now. It is going to take a long time for you to get 169 million in value back. Plus the boss chest is just more obtainable at the moment. I'm really curious to see what the royalty charm does because it has been rising in price a lot recently. The only reason I'd say this probably will not go up in price at the same rate as all the huges is because we are getting a lot of charm stones dropped from breakables at the moment. So a lot of people are opening them up. So I think it's very possible that the royalty charm doesn't rise as fast as the huges are going to be. Pretty much the same deal with the overload charm. But yeah, again, I think the safest bet is going to be these huge happy computers, especially if you can find them right now for wrap or below. That is going to be a beautiful deal, and that's probably going to have the most potential upside. Because there's so much volume of this item, it is most likely going to be rising the quickest out of anything. And it is most definitely possible that we see 20 million diamond minimum huges within a day or two of this event ending. I'm not going to say a specific price that I think they will go to because that is just driven by pure emotion most of the time. But that is what we were seeing before the event. And before the event, we were earning a lot less diamonds. So I'm kind of scared what the minimum price for these huges is going to be. Also, I don't think you should be picking up these rainbow happy computers. If you guys didn't know, rainbow huges are actually worse than shiny huges, which is a common misconception that I, that I didn't realize people didn't know. Rainbow exclusives are better than shiny exclusives, but rainbow huges are worse than shiny huges. So if you are looking to upgrade your team and you already have a whole bunch of huges, definitely go with the shiny over the rainbow because the shiny is actually cheaper for the computers. The shiny huge happy computer is actually like 10 million diamonds cheaper than the next closest shiny. So this is a good pickup nonetheless. Personally, I think I've bought like three or four of these throughout the event for 50 million average. And I don't regret those choices at all. That's a really good pickup considering the next cheapest one is like 65 million. And they make a great part of your team because they do boost your huge pet damage by a lot. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over and why it is such an important time for you guys to buy before this event is over. I haven't even gone ahead and spent all my gems yet, but I would feel really bad if I left you guys out and didn't end up telling you guys when I'm buying. 
Again, this is just me telling you what I'm personally doing. It is not a suggestion for you guys. I just want you guys to be as well informed as possible and not feel like I'm misleading you. Again, if you have any questions, come join the Discord. Free giveaways every single day and a helpful community. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.